Imagine the year 2050. It's about as far into the future as the mid-1980s are in the past. And the 80s are not that long ago, if you've been around for a while. What we planned back then has now become a reality. The internet, smartphones, oil platforms and the oil fund and countless diesel-fueled cars and ships. In the same way, 2050 will be the result of what we plan and execute today. Today's visions, initiatives and political actions will create the reality of our future. Imagine a 2050 where big cities have fresh, clean air. Global warming has been arrested. Imagine busy traffic without engine noise or exhaust gases and ship traffic without smoke from funnels even without funnels. The Paris Agreement targets a maximum of two degrees global warming. By 2100, all countries must be climate neutral. To reach these goals, we have to act now. It will a regime that will be tougher than we have had in the climate Here, our maritime industry plays a crucial role responsible for 9% of the total CO2 emissions in Norway and an even greater share of harmful NOx and SOx. This we can do something about. At the same time, this situation offers a unique opportunity to create growth in Norwegian industry with thousands of new jobs. What if Norway became the world leader in environmentally friendly and efficient coastal shipping? What if we created a revolution in coastal shipping comparable to Norway's electric vehicle policy? In addition, we could build vessels and deliver advanced services and equipment to ships being built anywhere. What if the Norwegian maritime cluster became a major exporter of environmental technology and green shipping services? Why is this a realistic vision? because we already have the technical solutions available, as well as service, supplier and shipbuilding industries that affirm their ability to deliver, with new jobs being created all across the country. Because the Norwegian maritime cluster has a unique global position, Oslo is ranked as one of the three most important shipping capitals in the world. Because emerging fuels like electricity, LNG and biofuel are already in use and soon hydrogen will be as well. Because we have already seen that the green shift, even with increased investment costs, can provide operational savings for shipping. And because our maritime industry is uniquely positioned for modernizing Norway and the rest of the world. Thus the answer is not solely new solutions through more research and development, but the removal of barriers that prevent existing solutions from being utilized. Let's look at the different scenarios. If we continue as today towards 2040, emissions of CO2 will increase significantly. If all technical and operational efficiency measures are implemented, emissions will still increase. However, through the extensive use of alternative fuels, we will achieve significant reductions. This means a vast number of vessels, a large share of the domestic fleet, must convert to alternative fuels by 2040. This also means at least a tenfold increase per year from the level of today, and even more towards 2050. The challenge is that this will involve extensive changes which have to start now, requiring joint efforts. Together, we must create a market for green technology. The Green Coastal Shipping Programme shows how this can be achieved. It's a unique collaborative project between government and private industry. The programme involves the entire value chain, which is important because solutions to environmental challenges are often found in the interface between these players. The programme works through pilot projects, studies and dialogue and has put forward proposals for a broad, united and well-founded strategy. Some of the main points are a fundamental overhaul of the industry is required 
and must come through actions and investments from the authorities and industry players. It requires collaboration between businesses and collaboration between government agencies. Politicians must make it attractive for cargo owners to choose green maritime solutions. Markets for green technologies in the fish farming, fishing and offshore fleets must be created by introducing more ambitious environmental requirements with relation to quotas and licenses. Better targeted and more effective support schemes must be introduced that reduce risk when new green solutions are utilised. Sufficient fuel infrastructure must be established to replace diesel and heavy oil. This must include infrastructure for the production, distribution and bunkering of electricity, LNG, biofuels and hydrogen. These are some of the most important measures. Imagine an entire fleet of zero emission ships by 2050. Imagine Norwegian shipping as a showcase to the world. Imagine a new growth industry with thousands of new jobs. The Green Coastal Shipping Programme confirms that all this is fully achievable. But courage and decisive action are required to complete this green shift. Businesses and politicians must demonstrate leadership to make it competitive. New ships will sail for 30 years. The choices we make today will determine what our reality is in 2050.